Hi, I'm James Foley. I'm an author and illustrator, and I'm going to show you how to draw one of my characters today. It's a character called Charlie Stevenson, and she's a biologist, and she's Sally Tinker's best friend. She's not too hard to draw, so I'm going to show you how she goes. So let's have a rough shape of her head. It's kind of a rounded uh, rectangle. And let's put the rough body shape in here too. It's about that big. And then her shorts are about that much, oh, a bit shorter than that. And then this is quite often what I do when I'm sketching a character. I will sketch um, the, uh, the basic shapes out first before I draw the details. So she's got uh, two thighs here and then she's got her lower legs and then she's got her, her joggers which are kind of this shape here. All right, now she's going to have uh, the collar of her shirt. So I'll put a V under her chin there. We'll put her arm. I'm going a little bit fast, but you can pause this video at any point that you like to catch up. So there's one arm. And another arm will go over here. So the, the, uh, the sleeve of her shirt, and I'll get an arm down to the elbow. And then we'll get the rest of her um, going to about there. Okay, now, what you can do when you're sketching characters too, if you like, is you can put a line down the center of their face and across. And this is sort of good for placement of eyes and nose and stuff like that. Now, I don't do that anymore. Um, I don't n need to with these characters because um, I've sort of figured out how their face looks from different angles. But that's one thing that you can do when you're designing your own characters. What I'm going to do with the corner of this head shape is I'm going to actually carve a little bit off the face. So we're going to draw Charlie's head on a slight angle. And when we draw on an angle, we need that sort of curve there. And her ear is going to be there. And she's got a ponytail that comes out from the back of her head. Because that's usually where ponytails come from. They don't come out of the middle of your face, of course. Um, and the ponytail has sort of some, yeah, jaggedy ponytail bits, whatever they're called. The, the ends of the hair. Yes, I don't know what the, the official terminology is. Uh, okay, cool. So, Sally's details. Let's go for some details now. I'm going to start, let's get rid of this arrow for a second. I'm going to start up here, this corner of their head, and I'm going to draw curvy line this is her fringe so it starts from a part that's here and it curves across and then down to this ear okay uh, and now we can draw the top part too which basically just follows the contour of her head uh, we have one other bit that goes on the other side of her head there um, and we can put her eyes in now so we're going to put her eyes on you know what, I think I've made her head too wide. I'm going to shorten it a bit. Let's start with a, a narrower shape. Yeah, that's better. Apologies. See, look, there's... Even when you're a professional illustrator, you still make mistakes. And so Charlie has big eyes. Because she's curious and she's kind and she's innocent and, and open to the world. Big eyes sort of help show that with a smile. And there's her, her chin. She's got a few lines in the sides of her hair there. Not going through the centre here, just um, in the corners. And then um, her ponytail, a few lines coming out through here. Let's put her collar on her shirt. Now her shirt comes down like that in the centre. And she's got pockets on the sides of her shirt that look like this. She's got four buttons, one, two, three, four, down here. And she wears her uh, shirt sleeves rolled up. 
Sally's pretty strong. So she doesn't have skinny little arms. She has she has big muscly arms. You would probably lose in an arm wrestle with Charlie. And let's put our other hand on here. And her pants. She wears shorts. Because she's often out and about being active. So she um she's also often running around after animals that have got loose. So she doesn't wear uh anything that she can't get messy or that she can't run around in. And she wears dark sneakers. So one useful thing to know about sneakers is that they have this curve that goes down on the side. Um, it's an important little feature of sneakers. And sneakers also have the, the sole of the sneaker rolls up a bit at the front. That's how we, we run in them. We can roll the toe of the sneaker because the front of it rolls up. I don't worry about drawing all the laces and everything else. It's not super important. Okay, um, I use a hatching pattern on Charlie's shorts. So sketch that in. All right, cool. That's all the outlines of Charlie. Oh, a few more. Yeah, she's got little flyaway hair on both sides of her head there too. Okay, let's add some colour. Uh, let's get a flesh tone. Charlie spends a lot of time outside, so she's got um, quite uh, tanned skin compared to her friend Sally. Let's get a brush we need. Uh, probably could make that a little different. There we go. Now you may be able to hear some noise outside while I'm drawing because my studio is near a playground. <laughs> and um, often we have children running around and screaming, which is good uh, inspiration really when you need to be able to draw a running screaming uh, child. Okay, let's get some bright orange colour because uh, Charlie's hair is orange. And I leave some gaps in her hair too to make it look a little shiny, but we can smudge this a little too to help with that shininess. Um, I'm using a iPad to draw so I, I can Use a few little tips and tricks here that are not available to you, unfortunately, when you are using a um, color pencils. Okay, so this kind of uh, mustardy brown color for her shirt. It's kind of a khaki zookeeper sort of shirt, and we need a uh, dark gray for her shoes. Dark grey shoes are good when you are dealing with animals all the time because um, your shoes are going to get dirty. There's no point in wearing bright shoes. She's got orange socks and she's got um, a dark bluey grey colour for her shorts. All right, that is Charlie Stevenson. Let me grab this color here. Charlie Stevenson. She's named after Charles Darwin and Steve Irwin. 
and kind of Robert Louis Stevenson as well. Charlie Stevenson from um, my S Tinker Inc. comics. So I hope you learned something from that. Um, that's Charlie Stevenson.